Hey guys, it's Alex from European Coffee Trip and in this video we'll talk about coffee freshness. We think it's such an important topic that we made not one, but two videos with our friends William and Petra Davies in their training center. In the first video, William covers mainly espresso and coffee freshness behind the bar. So enjoy! <laughs> In cafes, as baristas, we know that fresh coffee is important for us to use. But the question is, how fresh is fresh? Well, it kind of depends really on how the coffee was roasted, how you stored it, and how you're gonna prepare the coffee. When we roast coffee, we create CO2 and aromas. If we use the coffee too early, the CO2 actually pushes against the water and it's harder to extract the coffee. Also, some of them aromas are really not that nice. There's like a boiled potato aroma early on and of course, roasty aromas. If we wait too long to use the coffee, then we've lost too much of the CO2. The resistance to the coffee is much less. It runs through, there's a big chance of channeling. Also, we've lost our aromas. The coffee tastes a little bit flat and empty. And at the worst, there's been oxidation. So oxygen is something we have to avoid. It goes in, it'll oxidize, and then there's terrible, terrible flavors. How long you keep the coffee before using it really depends on you. I usually wait five days for filter, maximum two weeks. With espresso, I'm not going to start using it until two weeks. I'm usually between two and three weeks, but I've had really delicious espressos with coffee that's been rested for uh, four, even five weeks. Okay, this Brazil, it was roasted two weeks ago. That's great. And uh, the bag was opened yesterday. So this is great for espresso. Once you start using your coffee, use it quickly. You're in a cafe, so you should do. Uh, don't leave it in the hopper overnight or don't leave the bag open. Soon as you've taken it out of the bag, close the bag for whatever's left for filter or uh, with espresso, make sure you put it in the bag at night. Baristas can use uh, freshness as a variable. There is a point in a coffee's life where it will taste the best. You'll know this as a barista, but it's not always possible. Even if you order your coffee early and you use your stock, sometimes you will use it all quickly. In that case, you're gonna be using coffee that's a little bit too fresh. What will happen is you might start getting an acidic taste. The CO2 absorbs into the water and you get carbonic acid. So you're gonna get like an almost sparkling water finish to your coffee, a little bit of unbalanced acidity, which will reduce the sweetness. So this is five days from roast, uh, Ethiopian washed. There was a lot of crema when it was coming out and now the crema has just disappeared. So big bubbles in the crema are now just gone. A little mix. But it smells like smells nice. Jasmine, yeah, it's some nectarine peach. It's some sweetness, but the acidity is a little bit unbalanced. Mm. Acidity, a little bit sharp, and that strange aftertaste of like kind of fizzy. Yeah, like fizzy sparkling water acidity in the finish. And it's empty, kind of. Especially in the finish. Like but some nice else. aromas. Mm. There's some sweetness, but the acidity is um, spoiling the cup. Another five days, at least, uh, for this. I think we're gonna find the sweetness coming out more and the acidity becoming a little bit more gentle and round. balanced, yeah. round. Also, one sign is in a cappuccino. When you're drinking your cappuccino and the white, there's white, but the brown starts to bubble. So it's usually a sign of light roasts being used a little bit too fresh. 
So these small bubbles in the brown parts of the design are a sign that the coffee is a little bit too fresh. The CO2 seems to mix with the acidity of the coffee and starts breaking up the brown area. You don't see this as much in darker roast coffees. It's mostly uh, specialty. Four or five days after yeah, this is four or five days after roasting. If this was the same coffee two weeks after roasting, it would be a nice, shiny, uh, glossy cover to the latte art. One thing you can do to get rid of uh, more CO2 is grind finer, but there's already increased resistance from the CO2, so what you'll have to do is reduce your dose. You may also need to use a little bit more water for your beverage yield to try and get past the CO2 into the tasty coffees when you extract it. When you're storing coffee inside your cafe, think about the temperature you're storing it at. Cooler temperature is better. With hot temperatures, say somewhere like uh, in the summer, you're gonna find that the coffee degasses quicker. Cooler temperatures, the coffee will last a lot longer, it will degas much more gently. Humidity, obviously keep it away from moisture. Your coffee does not want moisture until you actually start extracting it. Light, keep it away from UV light. So it has to be in a container that isn't clear. So no glass, no clear containers, keep it hidden from the light. And then that should help you keep it away from oxygen too. Oxygen is a killer for coffee. Uh, the CO2 can escape, the volatiles can escape, the oxygen will come in and it'll start oxidizing your coffee. Freshness is an important variable. Usually in cafes, the problem I find is that not that the coffee is too old, but people are using it too fresh. If you want the best coffee you can, keep control of the freshness of the coffee. 